Kentucky Derby, the NCAA Tournament, the Super Bowl. Big events mean big business for cities. They can also be a magnet for scammers. I filled it out and uh, signed it and uh, I faxed it back to them. Willie Pinkton signed a contract with Super Week Lodging, hoping to rent out his home during the Super Bowl in Indianapolis. They assured me that my house would be rented out before the Super Bowl. It was going to be a minimum of a three-day stay, and uh, I would make $8.50 per day. To get his home listed, the company told Willie he would need to send money up front. I would have to you know, uh, send him a money order, you know, a check on money order for uh, uh, the 895. So he did. And what did he get in return? Nothing. In fact, he lost that money that he gave them. I did not have not $895 to give anybody. I didn't have $8.95 to give anybody. I had done everything they had asked me to do. I expected them to fall through with what they said they were going to do. Homeowners were told if the home wasn't rented or they wanted to cancel, they could get their money back. Again, not true. I mean, after the event, yeah, uh, I uh, tried to call them back you know, several times, you know. And uh, uh, in fact, I didn't get answers. Postal inspectors say this scam has been growing in the last five years, resulting in hundreds of thousands of dollars in losses. To be wary of uh, investment opportunities that are very high reward with very low risk. Consumers need to do their research. One way is to contact the local Better Business Bureau and ask how long the company has been doing business. Sometimes these con artists try to cover their tracks. The suspects generally change the website name and the company name every year after a major event. I just don't trust any any of this anymore. I would, I would never, ever, ever do that again, definitely.